Welcome back. Uh, we're working on our 3D printer project here um, and we're here to show you how to hook a Bluetooth adapter up to your RAMPS 1.4 controller board. We can see we've got our RAMPS controller board here. We've got four wires, uh, female to female uh, pin connectors. You should be familiar with those if you've done any Arduino stuff at all. Uh, again, you need four uh, you need a one for ground, one for power, and a one for transmit, and one for receive. You'll need a little bit of this uh, one eighth inch uh, heat shrink, and you'll need two resistors. Uh, you want one one K resistor, and you'll be able to tell that because it'll be brown, black, red, and then whatever the uh, tolerance is. Uh, so five percent will be gold or, or yellow, um, and then you'll want one 680 ohm resistor. The 680 ohm resistor here uh, will be blue gray, and then. Uh, and then brown. Um, so again, the 1K, which is going to be brown, black, and red, and the 680 ohm, which is going to be blue, gray, and brown. And you'll make a basically a divider, a voltage divider, with these two resistors. And what that does is it lowers the voltage from 5 volts uh, that's coming out of this down to the 3.3 volts that that needs. Uh, so the next step will be to go through uh, how to actually wire that up. Okay, this is how our basic Bluetooth voltage divider is going to go together. Uh, the black wire is the ground. It connects all the way through, and you can see these two resistors are connected to each other. The one that goes from the ground to the middle uh, is the 1K, the 680 ohm resistors at the top there. Uh, this is the out from the, or the transmit from the ramps 1.4, and then in the middle of the voltage divider, reducing the voltage there, we'll be going to the Bluetooth uh, HC05 on that end. And we're going to go ahead and get that soldered together here. Okay, now you can see our fully soldered voltage divider. The bottom wire here is the ground. Uh, the top left comes off of the ramp through this 680 ohm resistor before it goes out to the Bluetooth module here, and the 1K resistor makes the rest of the voltage divider circuit there. Uh, so that turns our 5 volts on the left into 3.3 volts on the right for the Bluetooth adapter. All that's left now is to go ahead and uh, hook up some uh, heat shrink tubing here. Okay, so now we're adding the heat shrink to our voltage divider. We've got the first piece in, uh, which I just pushed down the end of the yellow cable that's coming off of the ramps. The second one we're going to go ahead and push down the ground cable from the ramps and cover the end of this resistor there. And now you can see we're starting to cover the whole circuit there. And now we've got about half of that covered. Uh, now really all that's going to remain is for us to come in from the other end here with a slightly larger piece of heat shrink. We're going to go over both the yellow and black cables from that end. Come down, come over that that and there our resistance divider is now covered up with three pieces of heat shrink Okay, now that we've got our voltage divider soldered, we can actually hook it up to the ramps. It's going to hook onto this little 8-pin connector right here that's our auxiliary connector. We're going to use the top row of that. Uh, the first pin in that row is going to be VCC. The second pin in that row is going to be ground. The third pin is going to be TX, and the fourth pin is going to be RX. So our voltage divider that we made is going to hook into pins 2 on the ground and pins 3 for the TX. And on the other side, it'll hook into ground and RX on the Bluetooth module. We're going to go ahead and for this example use orange for our RX on the ramps. And we'll use white, I'm out of red wires, for our VCC. And now we can go ahead and hook it in on the other side on the Bluetooth module. Now we're going to hook our voltage divider onto the Bluetooth module. Uh, first we'll go ahead and hook our ground on then our VCC. Now, our voltage divider here is actually going to go to RX, and then the orange wire is going to go to TX, 
and that is how that hooks up on the Bluetooth end. And that is all the physical connections that are required uh, in order to enable the Bluetooth. Now you'll still need to actually enable this in the firmware and reload the firmware onto your Arduino for the ramps. In addition, uh, you'll need to configure this Bluetooth module through a serial adapter, and the serial adapters one of these here, um, and I'll go through that next. And you'll need to actually set the the port uh, baud for it uh, to the same baud as your ramps. And you'll also need to to set the Bluetooth ID and the pin. Uh, and so we'll go through that next.